I come home, I see this. Damn, C1 HUD. I'm gonna install a cold air on this and bleed the clutch on this. Hopefully his clutch is not out, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the intake probably tomorrow. Today I got some stuff going on in the afternoon. Hold there right here. Gonna take off the stock air box. Be fairly easy, just size 10 and um, that's about it. It takes fairly easy. Um, you got a screw right here, which goes right here. You got another screw which is right there that goes here you might have to remove the relay this one didn't have the bolt but i'm gonna make sure i put a bolt on there because he has spares right now um disconnect this so you gotta pull this pull it to get off that little hole clip um and that one sits right here and then of course the map sensor two two screws fairly easy am i missing anything oh yeah unplug this one this one's not gonna plug into anything um and that one goes down here that blue one um and then disconnect this hose this goes to the intake manifold we are gonna need to plug this one up i'm gonna check if i have um something to plug it up with um if not well a lot of people use is put this and then put a screw on it um but i'm pretty sure i have a uh, plug there and then just this one also which goes which is this one right here this hose this vacuum hose um you might have to um unscrew this one and this one goes right here and that's about it um, we're still gonna use this uh, hose to cool down the, the ECU um, but I removed it it's right there it's easy just pull it off and that's about it um, you're gonna put the intake in through there without the air filter and then from down there that's why I need to get rid of um, uh, the under panel because I'm gonna put the filter after it's done. So I need to take off the under panel for sure. Um, what's I'm gonna do? Damn it. I didn't wanna do it, but it is what it is. I removed the under panels luckily that one splits in half so I left the other half over here uh, and luckily I found a little plug uh, you can buy these in AutoZone I don't forgot how much they are but all you gotta do is plug it up and it looks a lot cleaner than putting a hose and blocking it with like a screw or something you know and that's it I just gotta zip tight this somewhere else this is not plugged in anywhere um and like i said i was gonna put a screw right there which i did and everything's done i just gotta bleed it which i'm gonna wait until my girl comes here so she could help me just uh do the clutch and then i'll release the slave cylinder which is right here so pump it three times then release that one I believe it's a eight or nine i'm not too sure um but i'll wait until she comes and then this is where the sensor goes the other one goes over here so it's not loose and hanging and just that plug